Hello Summoners! I'm your host, Chioku, and if you saw the title of this video, you're here to learn about some classes, aren't you? So, let's just jump into it. So, there's a lot of information that you're looking at right now, and a lot of it might be confusing. I'm gonna do my best to try and explain it all so that you can get a nice head start in the game. First, you see the class. That is, well, what you are here to learn. Stats. Stats is the HP, the attack, the MAG, which stands for magic, and the defense of a unit. Okay? Pretty straightforward. The skills is the toolkit of the unit. So, the things that you can unlock on the unit, like Brave Bursts, Brave Guards, Brave Supports. So if you see a higher rating for the skills, that means that the unit most likely has more of a toolkit. Infiltration is a little confusing. Essentially, what infiltration is, is it, it, it increases your critical damage, um, and it has a higher chance of preventing block and preventing counter. Now, it will not prevent interception, and it will not prevent dodge. And you guys will learn about that in just a second. Next up, initiative. What initiative is, is essentially the speed of the unit. A higher initiative means they go faster. A lower initiative means they go slower. Now it accumulates on your team, so um, it ranges from around 20 to 80 initiative. So if you have five units with 20 initiative, that totals to 100 initiative. Chances are you're going to be pretty slow and the enemy team is going to go first, for sure, and might attack twice in a row. So you want to make sure you have high initiative or else you're going to get bombarded with attacks. Damage is pretty straightforward, I don't think I need to explain that. Hit count is the amount of hits that the unit does and BC drop is the amount of BC crystals that a unit gets for doing a normal attack. Now, you don't get these BC crystals when you do a Brave Burst, a Brave Guard, a Brave Support, and you don't get them when you do Guarding. So, a little tip, BC crystals are basically the things you use to use your uh, Brave Burst, Brave Guards, stuff like that. And they drop from attacking enemies. So, doing your normal attack, for example, on Archers, gives you two extra BC drops okay next up we have interception now if you look at the right of the screen you'll see an example of how interception works basically it is indirect countering if the enemy attacks a unit that is not the unit the unit that has interception they will counter so if you see so you see the chest is attacking the sword user and so the bow user is going to indirectly counter that pretty straightforward next up is dodge now you'll see uh, the dual sword unit is just standing there taking all these hits but you notice that the enemy is missing a couple um, so that is pretty much what dodge does for you it helps you dodge a couple hits so you take less damage. Um, the next example here you'll see is counter. Counter is the opposite of interception. It is direct countering. So you're going to see the spear unit is going to counter the chest that tries to attack her, meaning you are dealing damage back for getting attacked. Now, this final example is blocking. Uh, you're going to see I, I had to do this in arena. Um, you're going to watch the enemy balder which is the uh, very colorful light unit. You're going to watch her attack the Dark Nymph in the back of my team, and yet she's not going to end up attacking it because my Brook is going to block that damage, as you see right here. Now, the Dark Nymph still ends up dying, but that boulder essentially did not attack. So, blocking only works if the unit is in front of the unit getting attacked. If Brook happened to be in the back of the team and the Dark Nymph was in the front, 
Brook would not have been able to block that. So blocking is very situational, but can be very useful. That's about all you need to know in order to get into this. Um, one more thing you should keep in mind, though, is to just know that long-range attacks, which currently is the Sorcerer and the Archer, will not be affected by counter and interception as they are long-range attacks. This also applies to gun units. They will also not be blocked. So, long-range units have an advantage in that. And finally, Brave Bursts are not affected by any of these four things. They are not affected by interception, nor dodge, nor block, nor counter. Brave Bursts have a 100% chance to have every attack hit, to not get negated by block, it has a 100% chance to not get countered, indirectly or directly. So these four things only apply to normal attack. With all that being said, let's get right into the classes. So first up we have archers. Archers excel in interception. They have a little block, high initiative and damage, and a pretty good toolkit. I would say that archers excel most in interception and situationally you want to put them in the back. They are high damage dealers but if targeted can be taken out easily. Next up are warriors. They have incredible damage, the highest damage in the game, but it's compensated by their awful infiltration, incredibly low initiative, lowest in the game pitiful BC drop rate, and a pretty low hit count. Now, they also have a high block rate, and a pretty decent interception rate. So, my advice for you, if you want to use them situationally, um, they are much better offensively, if you are going to use them in the front lines, than the next unit we're going to, or the next class we're going to be talking about called the shield units or the guard units um, so you would definitely want to use them if you want to go for an offensive build but you also need to guard the units in the back so like I said next class is the shield units their stats are incredible huge defense and huge HP their initiative is pretty eh, and their infiltration is awful but they have a 100% block rate and a 40% interception rate so if you want to go for a defensive build definitely go with the shield units over the sword units because they have a much higher block rate than the sword units. They have way more HP and defense, but in return, they have lower attack. And by lower, I mean much lower attack. Next up is the Lancer unit. Um, Lancer units have pretty awful stats. They have a higher interception rate, but their attack is honestly kind of average and they have a pretty good counter rate as well as a block rate they're all around units but in my opinion I would probably use them the least as they're not very good in situations next up is the gunslinger uh, the gunslinger just like the lancer is pretty eh. uh, out of the three I would definitely go with the archer over gunslinger or lancers as all three of these who excel in interception, the archer just has the best toolkit and has the most attack, which is good for interception. However, gunslings, gunslingers still are pretty good units. Next up is the swordsman. Now, honestly, I think the swordsman is one of the best classes in the game right now. They have incredible initiative. They have more than one BC drop, which, I mean, I'll take it. And then they have pretty decent interception, a very good dodge rate, and a pretty okay counter rate. Um, the fact that they have all three of those things, um, and they're all average, I'd say that's really good. Um, but then, on top of the fact that the swordsman units in the game right now are really good units. We got units like Krantz, Balder, Xion. These units are exceptional. They are very good units, and so that might be a little biased towards swordsmen, 
units, but Swordsman is right now one of the best classes in the game, and you will find them a lot in Arena, trust me. Next up is the Mage. Now the Mage is actually going to be outclassed soon by the new Sorcerer unit, and I'll go into that as soon as I get down there, but um, their stats are alright. They have high mag, but and you're mostly going to be using mages for their healing. You won't find much use for them in other circumstances, so if you find a mage unit who doesn't have healing, you're probably never going to use them. Uh, maybe one or two mage units who don't have healing might be useful, but other than that, yeah, they're only good for healing. Uh, just a quick note to add, um, the one or two units that I'm referring to are units like Halloween Lucy or the Giant Murmur, who prioritize in their AoE magic attacks. They can do a lot of damage because of how much magic attack they have, um, but really the rest of the mage units are uh, healers, honestly, and if they're not healers then they're just pointless units. Um, and so again with the sorcerer coming out, uh, who are most likely going to be better healers, mage units are just going to be completely outclassed unless they are AoE damage dealers like Halloween Lucy. Anyway, next up is Duelist or Dual Sword units. Um, they're pretty good. They are the most accurate when it comes to all around stats um, with balanced stats which are pretty good. Uh, balance initiative, balance damage, balance hit count, and balance block, counter, dodge, and interception. Everything about them is balanced. They're not bad, they're not good, they're balanced. <laughs> Next up is Gunner. Um, Gunner, with the Gunner units in the game right now, it's a pretty good class. High damage, high hit count, um, good stats, good toolkit, and a high interception rate, which is great. Um, not much to say about the Gunner, just you'll most likely be using them more times than not. Next up is Ninja. Now, Ninja's kind of similar to the Gunner um, in terms of toolkit and skill set, but in all honesty, the two Ninja units that are in the game right now aren't really exceptional. They aren't really that great of units. Nothing too special about them. So, that is probably bias that is being put into this, but the ninja class just doesn't have the units to support it right now. Um, maybe in the future, ninjas will be better, but for right now, um, you will likely never see a ninja unit in the game. Or in arena, sorry. Um, you might see the new free-to-play ninja unit just because it's free-to-play, but um, she ain't that good, honestly. Um, next up is the Sorcerer that I was talking about. Now, this sor the Sorcerer is just going to completely beat out Mage when it comes to healing. Um, <laughs> its magic is higher than that of a Mage. Um, its skill set, or toolkit, is better than that of a Mage, as shown with the stats right here. Its damage is 99, so it can hold up on its own. Its initiative is 50, which is great. Its hit count is 21, and its BC drop is only one less than a mage. And its interception rate is 40%. So, the interception rate doesn't really matter, because it has to do with attack, and sorcerers excel in magic and not attack. But, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Sorcerers have only one unit in the game right now, and she's not even released at the time of recording, but she will be tonight. And that is Elimo, which I love her, so... <laughs> this is going to be some bias, but um, as soon as Alima comes out and people get her, goodbye, Hannah. You're, you're rarely ever going to see Hannah anymore. Next up is the Fist Units, or the Pug List. You're never going to see someone say that, though. They're Fist Units. <laughs> their stats are awful. <laughs> their uh, skill set is, or their toolkit is pretty good. And their filtration is... <laughs> but they excel in initiative. Their initiative is incredibly high. Their damage is pretty low, and their hit count is the highest in the game. Awesome. And they have a 1 BC drop. They're pretty low. Their interception block and dodge rate is pretty good. The dodge rate being the highest in the game, at 20%. So you, they're going to be dodging a lot, essentially. Um, but really what this unit excel, excels at is initiative. And 
in all honesty, the swordsman units, who also have an 80 initiative, are kind of better than the fist units. So you're still going to be using fist units a lot just because of the incredible initiative and high dodge rate. Um, but it, when more units come in, into the game, uh, where you have the choice to use all swordsman units or all fist units, you're probably going to go with the swordsman units. Next up, and finally, is assassin or the dagger units. They have high damage, very high damage. Um, if you ever get an assassin unit and you put an AoE attack on them, um, you're making a huge mistake, as they do a lot of damage, single-targetly. That's not a word, but whatever. Um, their interception rate and block rate is okay, but nothing exceptional. And their toolkit is pretty low, but in all honesty, what I like about dagger units is the fact that you're really going to always be using them for normal attacks and brave burst, specifically single target brave burst, as they're just going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> That's all there is to it. They do a lot of damage. Um, and they have a high hit count, meaning those who dodge are not really going to affect you that much, as only some of those 22 hits are going to be dodged. Um, whereas if you use an archer unit who only has one hit, well, that has a high chance of just completely negating all damage. So, that's about it for all the classes. Maybe some more classes will come out in the future, but as we stand right now, these are the classes. And yeah, now let's jump into uh, what I would like to call the final rating of all the classes. Well, if you made it this far, congratulations, and I hope you learned something. If you're still confused, though, on the whole subject of classes, I went and made two documents that could possibly help. The first being a class rating guide, and the second being a team composition guide for PvP content. Um, hopefully, it'll help. I'm not going to go into depth with them. They are pretty self-explanatory, so be sure to pause the video when it pops up. Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. Um, and if you want to see more tutorial videos, just go to my channel, go to my playlist, and look for the playlist titled Tutorials. I have plenty of them there, uh, probably, unless you watch this video right away. Um, I'll have, yeah, I'll have plenty of them there to help you out if you're a new player. With that being said, peace out.